Welcome you absolute legends, I am Fumma Frost, I am Pete, I am back and today we're going into summer which means the dark, warm, sexy, alluring fragrances are going to get pushed to the back a little bit and now with the warmer weather we want fresh, we want nice so this is my top 10 cheapy list for 2022 now the rules of this is the, the fragrance cannot be over £35. That's my rule. Um, there's one that's just under, and I'll tell you which one that is. Um, it's got to be fresh, it's got to be nice, and it's got to be decent. Um, they're not going to project for hours and hours. They're not beast mode because of the price and because it's a fresh fragrance. They don't tend to last as long. But I've also got to do my design list, my niche list, and my discontinue list. And if you've got any ideas, if you want to shout out for any of those, love to hear from you. We're going to crack straight on in to the number 10 spot. And the number 10 is a quite a cheap one from the house of Armoff. And Armoff does do some decent fragrances. And this is a fresh one, slightly tropical one. It's niche ruby red. And this one, oh, it's just, it's almost like you can smell tropical beaches. It's just amazing fragrance. does perform pretty well, actually. It's a musk, mandarin, orange, um, sandalwood and some vanilla in this. It does perform well. It's a cheap one. It runs you about £25, £26, give or take where you want. 90ml bottle. It's a great little number. Really underrated as one of the, uh, fr from the line. I mean, obviously, uh, Club Dream Man Intense gets all the love. This one, it's a bit more of a hidden gem. So you find it, pick it up. Well worth your time. So that's I'm off niche ruby, red ruby, apologies. Right, coming in at number nine. That's a recent acquisition I've just picked up probably two, maybe three weeks ago. I just bought on the blind buy because it was just cheap. And I just thought, well, I know this company's half decent. It's from the house of Mercedes Benz. It's the move. Now, I didn't really expect a lot, but my God, the atomizer's trash. Oh, it doesn't even want to work for me now. What? Uh, well, that's embarrassing. Can't show you that. But okay, so it's got C notes in this. I'm going to sort this out when I finish this. C notes, apple blossom, which is a little bit unusual for the what you get. Um, tonka and cardamom, it's in the notes. Great little number if you go to get to work, which is really, really embarrassing. But hey, thanks, uh, Mercedes Benz. Um, for the price I got this for, it was 15 quid. You can It runs about 20 quid. Um, but yeah, great little number. Shame it didn't spray, but hey, that's life. But yeah, Mercedes-Benz, uh, the move, number nine. Coming in at number eight. It's from a house that really is known more for its darker fragrances. But this one is a great little number. And mine was a 50 mil and it ran me about 17 quid. Issy Miyake, Le Super Mejour de Issy. It's a great one. Long tongue twister. Hey, it works. Nice. Rosemary, cashmere, and sea salt, and a bit of vanilla. Great little fragrance. Does last a decent amount of time. I get about six hours out of this. Really nice, ozonic, real fresh fragrance. Great for office. Perfect for any time of the year. But especially in the summer, I'm going to go with this a little bit more than often. So that's Issy Miyake, Le Super Majeur de Issy. I'm sorry, I have to read it because it's so bloody long. Right, number seven is the cheapest one on the entire list, and it's a woman's fragrance. And I do not care if anyone says to me, Pete, Pete, you don't use women's fragrances because we're men and we wear men's fragrances. I don't care. I'm telling you this because it's so good. If you want to have a nice, chilled day and you're just, everything's going completely mad, you just need to chill out. Elizabeth Arden Green Tea is where it's at. And I have to say thank you to Joy Min because he was recommending it. Oh, God, it's just, it is so nice and light. Peppermint, green tea, jasmine, and orange zest is some of the notes in this. Runs you about nine quid. Nine quid for a 100ml bottle. It's also done, oh, who's the one? Who, my brain's gone dead. Um, the guy who did... Uh, the Aqua de Joe ones, can't remember his name, but it's gone for me. He did this, my god, massively underrated. Great fragrance, it's easy to wear, 
It doesn't last long. It lasts about four or five hours on my skin, give or take, depending on what the day is. But if you just want to spray yourself down with it for 10 quid, you can't go wrong. That is my number seven. I can't even remember what I'm doing. Right, coming in at number six. Get my head into the game. It's from a house that, again, is massively underrated. And this one got absolutely destroyed by the fragrance community, by most people in general. And they, I don't think they got the concept of what this was. It's from the house of Roches. It's Mustache EDT. Now, before everyone goes, oh, my God, that's trash. The EDP is much better. The EDP is for fall and winter. This was for spring and summer. So, for me... I love the atomizer, it's a great atomizer. It's lemon, neroli, violet, and white musk with some of the notes in this. It is great. For 120 ml, it comes in at 26 pounds. For that price, you get a good seven hours of performance. So you can wear it as your signature scent for the day. You're good to go. You can spray probably about five to six sprays in this, and you're good to go. This will last you a good amount of time. It's well worth picking it up. Um, yes, I agree, the EDP is a slightly better version, but it's not the same as this. So please don't get the two mixed up because it's just not the same. So Rosh's Mustache EDT is my number six. Right, coming in at number five is the one that I said was going to be um, near off the £35 mark. And this is for a 50 ml bottle, mine's a 100 ml bottle, so it's going to be slightly more. From the House of Lacoste, it's from this year, it's Lacoste... L1212 Blanc Eau Fresh, and oh my god, do I love this fragrance. Oh, it's just hedonistic. Grapefruit, ginger, apple, and some ambroxin in this. And this just performs like a beast. It will last you eight hours. So in terms of performance, it's phenomenal. As you can see, I've had a good old dent in it because this was filled. Great little number. Totally underrated. The Lacoste line in general is pretty underrated, but they have this is probably one of their best releases in recent times. Really think it's a massive underrated fragrance. Lacoste L1212 Blanc Eau Fresh. That is my number five. Number four. This one is again a massively underrated um, house. Does some really good stuff. Really like most of it. From the house of Carl Lagerfeld, it's Boys the Yuzu, and they've done lots of these. They've done four, I think. It's just stunning juice. For a 100ml bottle, it runs you 21, 22 pounds. Great performance. It gives me seven hours, which again, for a fresh fragrance, decent. So in this, it's got Yuzu, oh, rosemary, mint, and some nutmeg in it. And yes, it performs like a beast. And as always, if you want to know, if you want to do a full review of any of these, please let me know and I will crack on and do it. Probably not the Mercedes Benz because it's just been a rude little thing. But yeah, this one is great. Number four, Boys Did Yuzu by Carl Lagerfeld. Right, I'm just going to move my stuff down because I've got too many. That's life. Ah, oh, the joys of my life. Never ends. Right, come in at number three. It's a real cheapie. It came out, I think, in 1997. Or is it 97? Come on, around there. It's an underrated house that no one talks about. Like, literally no one. It's runs 16 quid. It's from the house of Shiruti. It's Image. And the bottle looks a bit tracky. But... It's got plum, it's got sandal, it's got banana leaf, which is a really unusual note in this. And then some amber as well, and some beautiful sandalwood. The sandalwood, for me, makes this. It lasts a good seven hours. Again, decent performance, which, again, if you're wanting decent and smelling really nice, slightly woody, fresh fragrance, this is going to do you proud. So Shiruti Image is great. Please, if you've never tried a Shiruti one, this should be the first one. For 15, 16 quid, can't go wrong. Number three. Number two is the oldest one in this list, and I've only just recently picked it up, and it's definitely for the old school generation. The new generation will probably think it's trash because they're so used to blue fragrances, but if you keep an open mind, this one's great. It's called Tobacco Original, and this one... 
It has definitely got that throwback feel with things like pine. Oh, it's just a, it's carnation, it's got rose, it's got oak moss, it's just got all the old school stuff that you would expect. But this doesn't last long, it lasts about four or five hours. But for I think 12 quid, you can pick this up. It's ridiculously cheap, it's actually embarrassingly cheap. And it's still about from 1959, it's still going in production. Unlike like new things that last about 10 seconds and then it's discontinued straight away. This has stood the test of time. Definitely worth picking up. Even if you're a new guy and you want to try something a bit more old school, the price you're paying for is, it doesn't matter. Great fragrance. So to back for original, my number two. That was leading me to number one. And I probably could have put this in a different order, but I just thought this one worked really well for me. From the house of Original Penguin. Now, I've never really heard anyone talk about Original Penguin. This is called Signature Blend, and this is great. Oh, God, let's see where it is. Oh, it's got suede, it's got lavender, it's got musk. And, like I said, it's got sandalwood, and this is great. Running at 20 quid, you get a good, is it 125ml bottle? No, 100ml bottle for 20 quid. It lasts, it's nice, it's very fresh, there's nothing complicated about it. Absolutely everyone could wear it. It's not hard on your on your bank account. Great little number, please, if you see these, even if it's in the right rack stores or if you see it cheap online, I think, eh, it's, it's Penguin, I'm not gonna give it because it's not got credibility. I'm giving you some credibility now. It is so nice and underrated. Great, fresh, slightly woody fragrance. It'll, it, it's mass appealing and it'll work. So number one is original Penguin Signature Blend. Right, so there you have it. My cheap list for summer 2022. Let me know in the comments if you've got any others that you think should have made the list, if you think that maybe that should have been mentioned, which is fine, cool, I love hearing from you guys. My scent of the day is another discontinued gem, and I love this one. I've got three backups of this, so I'm not too worried. It's from Guerlain, it's Ideal Cologne, and I love it. It's just a great, fresh, um, slightly um, gourmand fragrance with the almond in it. Great little number. Again, as you can see, I've had a start of a bit of a dent in it, but I'm not too bothered. My scent of the day is that. Let me know what your scent of the day is. And as always, if you want a top 10 list, a frames review, or a question, please hit me up. I love hearing from you guys. As always, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. It's free. So why would you not? As always, I'm on Instagram with former phrases. And as always, you absolute legends. Smell amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.